Google rarely gives advice on what it takes to get to the top of search results, but recently they did. Crystal clear advice. And the thing is, they didn't mean to. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I recently learned that has motivated me to change the way I do search engine optimization. And I'm also going to tell you the changes that I've made. In case we haven't met before, my name is Matt Diggity, and I'm the owner of SEO companies Diggity Marketing, LeadSpring, The Search Initiative, the Affiliate Lab, and the Chiang Mai SEO Conference. The image you're about to see was recently posted in my Facebook group, The Affiliate SEO Mastermind, by a contributing member, Matt Schubert. While he was searching around Google, he clicked on a result, read it for a bit, then tapped back on his browser. When he got back to the search result page, he found this. Underneath the result that he had previously visited, he found this quick survey. How easy was it to find what you wanted on this site? Google is asking for user feedback on whether specific articles are providing answers easy enough. If you read between the lines, this changes things. And don't worry, I'll explain shortly. This isn't the first time we've seen polls like this. In this article from 2012, Search Engine Journal pointed out a feedback form that was popping up on search results. But this form was different. It was asking users for their overall satisfaction satisfaction on the entire search result listing. In other words, you search for blah blah blah, are these 10 results we gave you good? The new one is different. It's asking about one article, the article you just read. And I want you to pay attention to the key word in this sentence, easy. How easy was it to find what you wanted on the site? Now this isn't a big stretch of the imagination to assume that Google wants its users to have an easy experience. But the fact that this is the only criteria they're asking about makes it seem like this is pretty damn important. One could say it's the most important thing they care about. So Google has shown its cards. At least on mobile, which is 63% of all search activity, Google wants people to find easy answers. Now what defines easy? I would say that the answer should be easy to find. Something that you can find quickly. You see, up until now, SEOs have been obsessed with user metrics, especially time on page. The idea is that the longer people spend reading your articles, that gives a signal to Google that you liked it. But wouldn't that also imply that you were frustrated because you couldn't find your answer fast? On the other hand, if you were on an article for a short amount of time, Google pops up this form to make sure you got your answer. And you weren't just frustrated and left the page immediately. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So what this means is that it's not about time on page. It's about quick and easy answers. Your content should not fluff around. You need to get to the point and fast. I'm about to show you how you can execute on this with live examples. But before I do that, would you please execute that like button? When I first saw this form, the first thing that came up was getting this information to you guys. So if you appreciate that, let me know by obliterating that like button. Thanks. The first type of query that I want to point out where people are executing very well on quick answers is affiliate review type keywords. These are keywords like best wireless routers where people are looking for reviews of wireless routers before they decide on which one to purchase. Speaking for affiliate marketers and being one myself, I can say straight up that affiliate marketers are terrified of over-optimizing their sites. And that refers to having too many affiliate links on their page or having affiliate links too high in their posts. There's a superstition that Google will penalize you for going too aggro on monetization. But let's go back to the search result for best wireless routers and open up these guys here, PC Mag. Ever heard of them? There's barely 40 words of content before they hit you with your first affiliate links, straight away, right above the fold. They're ranked number one for a damn lucrative keyword difficulty 81, 5,000 search per month keyword. And what are they doing? They're providing an easy and quick answer to the query. Here's another banger of a website, CNET, which is ranked number three for the same keyword. 25 freaking words and then bam, here's your quick affiliate links. I don't know about you, but this is the format that I prefer to read review articles in as well. Quick and easy, lemon squeezy. I personally adopted this format for my own affiliate portfolio. Very soon I'll be releasing a video on the exact layout of my affiliate pages based on years of optimization. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Looking for more examples? Here's Forbes best multivitamin for women article with the side scrolling CTA strip. Then we have Tech Radar with this mini slider above the fold, which looks remarkably similar to Tom's Guide, probably the same parent company. Here's a nice set from The Drive for best jump starters. And if you want a single product review version doing a damn good job of a quick answer, we have this specimen from Health Canal. Remember the website Gear Hungry, the affiliate site that sold for eight figures and subsequently got penalized? Here's what their review articles look like. Big headers, fluffy introduction paragraph, and then we get to the quote unquote quick answers. Here's what their affiliate reviews used to look like. Super quick, one might even say aggressively quick answers. Now I get why the owners would want to do everything they can to recover their site, but personally, I like this old format. Now as you've seen, there's plenty of websites doing just fine giving Google what it's asking for. Easy answers. By the way, I'd like to give a shout out to Otis, the sponsor of this video. Otis is a premium domain marketplace and is my one-stop shop for money site domains. I've been using Otis domains for two main purposes. First is for building websites with a head start instead of having to start from scratch. 
This site is only a few months old and it's already getting 100 visitors per day. Second, Otis domains are great for 301 redirects to give an instantaneous boost to an existing website. The domains on Otis are all hand-picked and vetted for quality. They stock powerful domains with great backlink profiles in a variety of niches. And they also cover your ass by making sure that all the domains have a clean history and have never been used for any funny business. Sign up for Otis, use the link in the description and get a $100 welcome bonus in your dashboard. Now back to the video. Next, I want to talk about another clever format, and that's adding a key takeaway section to your informational articles. Informational queries answer questions. How to do this, how to do that, what is this, what is that? This informational article from Investopedia explains cryptography and cryptocurrency. When we scroll down just a wee bit, what do we have here? A key takeaway section that draws the eye and gives a distinct bullet point list of the key points of the article. Or in other words, an easy answer to the query. Now it's not just the finance niche that is doing this. It's huge in the health and fitness niches. Here's Very Well Fit in an article about diet and weight gain and Legion Athletics in an article about newbie gains. Diet Doctor doesn't quite label it key takeaways, but they have a top 10 tips section at the beginning of their massive pillar article on weight loss. In the technology niche, digital.com has a key takeaway section for their article about free web hosting. And even solo bloggers are formatting their articles like this on Medium. Other clever websites are using font styling to deliver their quick and easy answers. Check out this article from japan.travel that gets 14,500 visitors per month and ranks number one for when is cherry blossom season in Japan. It doesn't take you very long to figure that out because they tell you right away in big bold font. By the way, I'm not much of a flower guy, but I highly recommend going to Japan in cherry blossom season. Straight up magical. Coindesk uses standout fonts right in the header to give an answer to what is Bitcoin in this article. Likewise for NordVPN in their article about what is VPN. This article from The Adult Men uses font styling and box formatting for its instant answer. Same with this example from The Balance answering the question, what is net worth? I hope these examples have opened your mind to various ways that you can deliver to Google what they want to see. Easy answers. Now as mentioned before, I'm putting together a video detailing the perfect page layout. A layout that's both conversion and Google optimized for easy answers. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.